Today we're going to cover the best stretches and warm-ups to do before training and exercise. So let's start off with meditation. Here you'll see me working on my breathing as I'm in the seated mountain pose. To perform this exercise, hold the arms up straight and back and take in as deep of a breath as you can through the nose, expand the ribs, and then exhale. Next up, jumping jacks. Great, simple, easy to perform exercise, get the heart going. We'll continue to elevate that heart rate as we do the butt kicks and the high knees. Hamstring pulls are all too common, so one exercise we can do is a simple toe touch. We can either reach down to the floor, touching the toes while keeping the legs as stiff as your mobility will allow, or we can do the standing toe touch. One way we can involve the foot, ankle, knee, and hip all in one stretch is to do the front foot elevated split squat. Pulse at the bottom for a good stretch and then come back to the top. Be sure to keep the foot straight and the knee out so we can truly open up those hips. Don't forget about the arms. We can do a simple stretch just by crossing the arm across the body, or we can do the shoulder circles, both clockwise and counterclockwise. Some floor hip work we can do is the 90-90 stretch to put that hip into internal rotation, loosen everything up before you work out. We can also perform my version of the hydrants to help open up the hips, strengthen the glutes, drawing big circles with the knee, both clockwise and counterclockwise. And let's not forget about the quads and hip flexors as we can perform the lying leg circles as well. And last but not least, we can perform a nice light jog to get ready for the workout. 